Yo, what's up guys? You got Poe Game here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Showdown Live featuring Cacturn. We're actually using a double dark team with Honchko and Cacturn, the two sucker punchers. In the UU tier, I'm excited to be using Cacturn today. I, I love this mod. I think it's so cool. I think it's one of the coolest looking mods. Like, bro, it's a cactus, but it looks sick, right? It's, it's exactly what I would expect out of, like, a, a, a cactus type Pokemon. It's just sick. So... If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you leave a like, and also if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I had a moveset video guide for Cacturn go up early today. I also had a Wi-Fi battle going up, or it will be going up after. It might be before, it might be after, I don't even know. But I got a lot of Pokemon content, uploading like three videos a day at the moment at least, uh, for the month of December, and as well for November I did it too. And yeah, there's a lot of good content. So, I have a question, real quick. Also, I named my Cacturn Togemon, because of Digimon. You guys know, you guys remember that? Anyway. Um, I have a quick question. So, I think that Cactor needs a little bit of a buff. Now, it's hard to say I want a cactus to move faster, because it's a cactus, and it has a good base, a 115 and, and, and 115, but I, I don't know, I, I think that it just needs just a little bit more speed, man, like 65 base speed would make it just a little bit better, at least like on the Choice Guard variants, I could be faster than Latios and stuff like that, though I do have that, but... How would you buff a grass, a specific grass type Pokemon? So that's what I'm asking right now. So Cacturn, Maractus are the two that come to mind because they're very similar in terms of what they are. But what grass type Pokemon would you buff and why? And, and give me like some, you know, some details. Like what would you do for it? But I would definitely buff Cacturn. Um, close combat is the big one that I give it for sure. That's like my go-to. Uh, but it does have low kick. It doesn't have super power at the moment, but I like close combat. I feel like, it, you know, I feel like it can fight dirty. But yeah, we have the uh, Togemon. We have Honchkrow. Shuckle with the sticky web. Shout out to RTSK for the team. Team's on my website, Pokemon.com. Guys, if, if you didn't know, let me go to my website real quick just to show you. Uh, and I'll have like a skip ahead for everything, but if you didn't know, I do have a section right here called BDSP plus old gens. And if you click on that, there you go. You got all my teams that I've been using so far. So, there you guys go. Let's go ahead and look for a battle. It's been two minutes. I've taken up too much of your time. Uh, again, I'll have little stamps down below. And, oh, this, no dark resist. My boys came to play today. I love it. But they do have two spinners, which is going to be a little bit frustrating for me, for sure. Um, I love Scarf Mints to deal with these scary mons in the back. Dawnfen is a giant Pokemon, that, well, a giant threat versus me. We're going to start with Miss Magus because I'm Choice Specs and I can basically click Shadow Ball for free versus Bronzong, Dawnfen. If I even weaken Dawnfen, because what I'm thinking is this Blastoise is Shell Smash, right? And not Rapid Spin. So if I even weaken Dawnfen, that means I can get up my Sticky Web as well as my Stealth Rock, which will help out Togemon as well as Hodgecrow just pick up KOs later. So we're going to start with Miss Magus. They do end up going off with Blastoise. Uh, I'm just going to throw off a Thunderbolt here. I'm choice specs. They may go Donphan, but if they don't, I get a million damage off on that mod. Awesome. Now, if I'm them, I either Dark Pulse or Scald. I do have Water Absorb. There's no way they Aura Sphere. I don't think they Ice Beam either. So I'm going to go out to this as I do go for Dark Pulse. Perfect. And what I can do here is just go for a nice little Sucker Punch. Doesn't matter if they try and outplay me. I have Sucker Punches on this and Sucker Punches on this and I have Ice Shard. So we're going to go for another Sucker Punch there. There you go. First kill of the day for Cacturn. Also using its resistances to my advantage. That's awesome. Right? So first kill of the day for Cacturn. Coming out strong. They go Bronzong. Um, I think I'm just going to go for Assurance here. Because, yeah, my homie is strong as hell. As they just go for Stealth Rock. This is awesome. I mean, they don't really have a switch into this, so I'm just going to go for it again. There you go. Second kill of the day for Togemon over here. Just put it in the work. You absolutely love to see it. Donphan comes out. I'm going to make the Shuckle play and just go for Toxic here. I'm going to use the, the defensive Mon that this technically should beat 1v1 to Toxic something. I do get my Gluttony now as well and my Aya Papa Berry. Awesome. And what I can do here is just go for... Uh, I think Stealth Rock. I think Stealth Rock are best. I think Stealth Rock will enable me to just kind of outrage sweep my opponent. So I can afford to stay in if I want to and click Stealth Rock again. I'm going to do it. Uh, basically because if they try and Rapid Spin there, they'll die before they do enough damage to me. So we're just going to click Stealth Rock there. As you can see, they're only doing 5%. We get our rocks up. Again, I really just want these for Raikou and stuff for my Sucker Punches in the back. And I'll go Miss Magus. If they have Knock Off, so be it. Yep, nice. 
There's a strong chance that I am faster, so we're just gonna throw off a Shadow Ball here. Nice. So, we get to pick up the KO, we get our rocks up. I mean, Cacturn already did so much work. Blastoise was probably one of the scariest Pokemon to deal with. Uh, they end up bringing out Raikou, I'm just gonna go for another Shadow Ball. If they calm mind up, so be it. I have Scarf Salamence, and I have two Sucker Punches, and I have a Dawn Fan at full. And I get a Special Defense Drop there, too. So... I don't want them subbing. I have Ice Shard for this guy, so I don't have to worry about that. I could just sack Shuckle, but I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball again, because I can't have them subbing on me, exactly. And uh, my best play is just to go right out into Salamence and just click Outrage. I'm not worried about their own Salamence, and the Gyarados is whatever. So I click Scarf Outrage, that picks up the KO on Raikou, I got the chip I needed, I get my plus one. If their Gyarados comes out to get off Intimidate, it's fine. If their Salamence is Moxie, they just think they lose at that point, because they're most likely Dragon Dance on both of those, so... Sorry, I was just drinking some water, but... I mean, look how much work Cacturn put in the beginning, and that's why you sometimes run Assurance on Cacturn. Assurance, if you guys didn't know, is like when something takes damage that turn, uh, prior to you using Assurance, it's doubled in power. So, let's say Bronzong came in on Stealth Rock, then Assurance would be 120 base power. Now, you could also very easily make this set special instead of physical, that's for sure. Like, you could use Energy Ball plus Dark Pulse, but my main thing is, I like a strong Sucker Punch, so I want to go Max Attack. But yeah, great, great start. Cacturn did what it had to do. What's up, everybody? I'm here with my best friend, Raul, back there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're on this beautiful little light area type of thing because it's the holiday season. Enjoy. And what's, yeah, we're just enjoying it, you know. And, you know, holidays are about being with your loved ones and being close. But more importantly, they're about your parents reminding you that they gave birth to you and you have to get them presents. Now, I have the perfect present for your father, all right? Check out this Ridge Wallet right here. The Ridge Wallet right in my pocket. Doesn't even matter. It's been nice and sleek. Hasn't taken up any space. You can go to ridge.com slash Draco. It ships worldwide. Has a lifetime guarantee, warranty as well. And uh, what do you what do you think, random person, about the Ridge Wallet? Tell, tell them about your, your experience with it. He hasn't given me one yet. But you know what? That's the wrong person to ask. I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> But yeah, go to ridge.com slash Draco, pick up one right before the holidays, and uh, yeah, we'll see ya. I got to use not only Cacturn for its offensive strengths, but also its defensive uh, capabilities here, which is sick. Cool team on the opponent's parts, for sure. Uh, this might be Defog Mence. I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm just going to start off with Shuckle. Maybe they go for Taunt if they have it, but I'll just throw off a Toxic here. I have a rapid spinner, whereas they don't. So if they do have taunt, uh, if they do have taunt, that's fine. I'm gonna go for toxic because it hits everything on their team besides Bronzong, and it looks like they don't have taunt, which means I can get up hazards in this game. I would love for Ditto to come out as well, for it just to take the hazard damage. They have no dark resist once again, so my oh, that is awesome, especially if that's default. So we can get up Stealth Rock in their face, and then we can get up Sticky Web. And then what I could do is actually final gambit because I'll live every hit they go for. I'll live that, I'll get my berry, and I'll actually beat them 1v1 because of the final gambit. <laughs> and it doesn't let their ditto copy me, and that was their only defogger on the team. So, how do I want to win from here? I do want to be a little bit careful about this guy. I'll be sure. Because I mean, I do have Salamence, I have Sucker Punches in the back too, so I should be okay. We're gonna go Dawn Fan here because it deals with Ambipom, and it basically gives me a free knockoff on Bronzong. And then uh, Cacturn just kills everything else. So we'll go for knockoff here. That did so much damage, dude. <laughs> That's definitely like Silk Scarf boosted. I'll go for knockoff though because I'll be able to live a double hit. Yep, just barely, but I do. And Max Attack knockoff into Ice Shard should be enough for you, I would say. So I should be careful because I don't want their ditto rapid spinning. I mean, I'm, not, I'm just going to go out to Miss Magius at the end of the day anyway, right? So Ice Shard should be enough to do. Oh, just shy of the KO. That's fine, though. My homie gets to come out. And I'm just going to click Sucker Punch and be safe. Because <laughs> that guy's definitely faster than me. Awesome. I mean, it's time, right? It's time. Um... Biggest threat might be their ditto though, so I want to be careful around that. I get to use the fact that I do have assurance one more time, and I mean that's the way to do it, right? They took nothing from that hit. Gonna go for it again. Ah, nice little roll. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. 
Again, we want to get Ditto nice and low. So Ditto can come out. I'm just going to go for Seed Bomb. It's my strongest move. I'm just trying to weaken Ditto to the point of a Sucker Punch for later. So I don't have to worry about it. If they want to get up all their hazards, that's completely fine too. Uh, Assurance is my best play actually because Spikes go... Uh, Stealth Rock is up. So this is actually going to be doubled in power versus Cresselia. 120 base power. Look at the power. Guys, if you're not leaving a like for Cacturn, that's, that's why Assurance is cool. That's 120 base power. That is 120 base power. But yeah, so the reason I got the damage off on Ditto first is because uh, my Honchko Sucker Punch can just pick up the KO on it later, even if it like becomes Honchkrow or it becomes Salamence and tries to reverse sweep me or it becomes this Magius. I just wanted it to be weakened to the point of the Sucker Punch of one of my Dark Types to be able to do it. But I'm, I'm really happy on how Cacturn is performing right now. Like, you can tell the excitement of my voice, man. I'm really, really, I feel like I feel like I made the right call. Because uh, RTSK, um, awesome person, by the way, like I said. Awesome dude. And um, he's a friend of mine. People always ask, what is an RTSK? That is... That is that is the, the name that they have decided to go on online. Um, pass me this insanely cool team. And yeah, it basically just allows me to use these mods. Like no Shadow Ball resist. Miss Magius is going to be great with the Shadow Ball. No Dark Resist again. So Togemon and Harshcore are going to go in. Uh, Aggron is a threat for sure. I'm going to try and get up my hazards immediately. If they want to go the... Uh, if they want to go the Fortress route, that's fine. I do have Mystical Fire, so... I definitely want Stealth Rock up before I get Sticky Web up. I think that's for sure. Because Rocks up mean that uh, Gardevoir dies Sucker Punch. Uh, Salamence probably dies to Sucker Punch too. Well, that's the Ice Shard for sure. So I definitely want those up. The issue for me is... Actually, the issue for me would be Aggron. So let me let me start with Donphan because Aggron is annoying as a start. I'm just going to Earthquake you. Max Attack. That's fine. Go right for the knockoff here. Just in case they're Custab Berry. Yep. And now I can safely rapid spin these away. Also, the faster my Dolphin gets, the more of a threat it is to my opponent's team. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they don't really like switching into this mod. So, we got rid of the Custap Berry. That's great. I can bring out Shuckle here. Go for Stealth Rock first. Go for Stealth Rock first. Again, for the Salamence. Go for Sticky Web. And then final Gambit, just in case they're crazy and try and go Fortress. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what move they went uh, they made there, I feel. Um, because now I can just go out to you and just click Seed Bomb. Actually, you know what? I'm fairly confident Offensive Fortress dies. Is that the 30%? I feel like a Life Orb from 328 attack does enough. Let me see. Fortress, are you defensive? No, no. There's, there's no way. That's like max HP. No, no, no. Actually, no. Oh. I just want to be greedy, but let me just go for Seed Bomb and be safe. Ah, another KO for Cactor in there, baby. Look at that. And that's one of the few mods that they have that can actually deal with me. So, uh, the play I make is to go directly into Miss Magius and just click Shadow Ball. They have no resistances to it at all. As they Volt Switch there, good play, but now they're in range of Assurance. Salamence comes out. Gonna make the Dawn fan play. I don't think they should honestly be in with this mon, but yeah, we're gonna rapid spin here as well. As they end up bringing out Fortress. Awesome. I know they have no Custab Berry anymore. And uh, now I'm like faster than, <laughs> I'm faster than Raikou on their webs, which is pretty cool too. So we can go for Earthquake here. I'm also faster than, dude, I'm faster than you on their webs, bro. Unless you Scarf, get the hell out of here. I got the speed boost. Sorry, my friend. And if they're Scarf, then, I mean, what are they? Yeah, they had the Dawn fan is putting the Dawn, bro. All because Hippo died. All because Hippo died. Now, the crazy part is, even if you're a Scarf, you die too. Oh, it didn't die. Darn. Oh, I was defensive. Okay, no problem. I think the play is to bring out you and just click Seed Bomb. Sucker Punch from my Honchkrow will kill that. I just get a kill with Seed Bomb. They don't have Intimidate on Mon, so that Mon dies to so Sucker Punch. They go aggro on him, maybe try and Rock Polish up. No, they just die here to Sucker Punch. That's fine. Go ahead and give me that. Cacturn picking up what? One, two, three KOs here? That's three KOs for Cacturn right there. And now, can safely bring out you and click Earthquake, and that's game. Good game, man. Uh, guys, somebody got to keep... 
<laughs> I can respect this per this person not like uh, just hitting me up at the end with the good games ain't like they knew we Usually when people say they even say yo hey what's up in the beginning which is fine I think yo in the beginning is fine but also sometimes they say it after I, they dodge a move from me or they pick up a KO like yo I'm safe to say what's up so it's just funny but yeah man y'all see Togemon put in some work here oh man I don't know why um oh, I don't want to get sad oh yeah but I don't know why like I'm, I'm like I'm being uh okay so my wife about is going up after no problem no problem. No problem, no problem. Sorry, just uh, Olivia asked me. Oh, I asked Olivia if we could do 2 o'clock for the Wi-Fi, but that means just this video is going to go up at 2 o'clock, so you guys get to see this video even earlier. Oh, I don't know why I'm being randomly reminded of Etika. Maybe just because, like, I'm, I'm so excited about the Digimon, it just reminds me of how, I mean, I'm, I'm nowhere like Etika, right? Now, rest in peace, brother. For sure. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it all sad. Like, I just, like, the image, like, me getting excited about this mod, it just reminds me of how much I loved his stuff, you know? I love this stuff. This guy gets wrecked by Togemon. So that should be good. Um, um, Spec Shadow Balls are good here, but they do have Drapion, so that's something I want to be uh, aware of. Got to be careful around Rose Raid, though. Got to be careful around Rose Raid. This could have Cobra Berry, too. Dawn Fan is great. I'm assuming Rose Raid lead, but they end up leading off a of Flygon. That's a free Toxic for me if they opt to stay in. I doubt they stay in. Let me just get up Stop Rock here. I think this is U turn. I think it's Scarf. If it's defensive, then I can click Toxic after. But yeah, Togemon destroys them. Sorry, I just keep it in the I don't know, Enrique was on my mind. Love that guy, man. We went to uh, Nintendo World together, and you know, we did a lot of stuff. He's a great guy, and you know, never cared about like, you know, he let me go to his house and chill. And he was just a good guy, man. Hey, I know, I know, like, I'm not trying to like make this all sad or whatever, uh, but you know, if you're feeling some type of way, if you're down or something, make sure you reach out to people, man. There are people who care about you. You know, there definitely are people who care about you, so. Oh, God, that did a lot. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Why you do so much damage? But after final gambiting here, which is my best play, if I final gambit here and they go flag on, then, I mean, Dawn Fan is going to destroy them. So uh, this is awesome because not only do I get the final damage, uh, final damage, <laughs> the final gamut damage off, but I can go Dawn Fan here and actually afford to go for knockoff just in case they want to try and go. Rub. They have no switchins to offensive Dawn Fan's knockoff, like at all on their team. If Flygon takes a knockoff, it dies to Ice Shard. Rota takes it, dies to Ice Shard, right? Slow King dies to double knockoff. So, like, this is such a good position, and this is why I got the Sticky Whip up. This is such a good position for me. So, peace, Bronzong. You deserve it. Uh, I don't know why this came out. But I will gladly KO the only Mon that resists Dark on their team. I could easily Rapid Spin here. I'm gonna go for Knockoff just in case they're crazy. And let's see if we can Rapid Spin now. Maybe they switch out to Rotom now. But this is the only Mon that resists Dark on their team, so I'll take it. They might go Rotom now. Nope, they don't. So that means I even get to get rid of Stealth Rock. Yo, Dawn is uh, the Dawn, bro. Like, I don't know. And I'm faster than Rotom if it's not Choice Scarf. So we'll find out right now if it's Choice Scarf. It is indeed Choice Scarf. Wait, no, 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 it's 309. I, I, excuse me. I completely forgot which Rotom I was looking at. The other one's 290 something, and this one is not. But because we know they're not Choice Scarf, I bring out Choice Specs Mix Magius, and I get to click Specs Shadow Ball. At this point, Outrage wins too because they have no resist to it. Um, if their Flygon wins a Speed Tie versus me, I can just Sucker Punch it and then Sucker Punch it with my other one. So I have so many ways to win the game right now. Especially if Rose Raid comes out right now. I would love Rose Raid to come out because it, if it's offensive, it should be 2 a KO'd by this attack. And I could be a demon and go hard into Cacturn. But yeah, so Shadow Ball is amazing right now. I don't have to predict. I'm faster. I love the offensiveness of this team. It's sick. I've been drinking a lot of water. It's good though. I drink water and I drink like hydration <laughs> G Fuel. That's about it. <laughs> I like the new, uh, what's well, not new, but I like the Yuzu sla uh, Slash flavor a lot. I'm almost liking it more than Strawberry Lemonade at the moment, but Strawberry Lemonade is still goaded. But yeah, this is Specs. Very little switchings. I love um, that I'm showing off two cool Pokemon as well, like Miss Magius. I think I think Miss Magius still having access to Mystical Fire, or having access to Mystical Fire, excuse me, is amazing. But yeah, there's a Rose Rate switching. If this is offensive, it will be two at KO'd. 
I'm going to be a demon and go hard into Cacturn to avoid either a Sleep Powder or a Giga Drain. And then I'm faster and I can go right for the uh, the Life Orb, Assurance. It will knock out Roserite because that's Spadef Roserite. And if they go Flygon, it dies. If they go out into Rotom, it dies. Yeah, Rotom definitely dies because it is, um, <laughs> you know, it's after Stealth Rock. And Flygon will be close to death, excuse me. It won't die, die, but it'll be close. Also, Outrage is very easy to win at this point too, so. I'm faster than you. Just die. Right now. Oh, that took nothing, bro. What? That's all right. Close enough. I guess it might come down to a speed tie now. I didn't think that'd do that little. Then again, it is 60 base power, but I do get a Shadow Ball kill now. And if Flygon comes out later and it's still locked in Outrage, I'm good too. So, and Hawk Scroll still looks amazing as well. It depends on the flag on, like, the flag on set. I don't think it kills Miss Magius in one hit. Ninety-three to one hundred nine. Oh, that's a roll. Ooh, this might get a little bit closer now. So, maybe the play was to do that and then go back out to Miss Magius and go for Mystical Fire. Okay, no, wor no worries, no worries. It, it all depends as well if they're Scar Flag on too. So, if they're not, then Outrage has a pretty clean shot at winning. Yeah, that's a pretty clean shot at winning. Though I may have to end up going for the speed side because I'm a little bit worried about sloking. They should never keep Rose Raid alive, so I'm kind of like figuring out like why they're even like thinking about that turn. Maybe they're just thinking about if they have to send out Flag on after, or maybe they're sloking's trick room. So I don't know why they didn't click Outrage. Um, they are Scarf confirmed. All of my Pokemon are immune to that. I'm not <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Fail. It's okay. You just had to click Outrage. All my Mons are flying. <laughs> Unless they're U-Turn, Earthquake, Stone Edge. But even Stone Edge would be the play. What? I don't know what happened there. But I feel like I just crushed their dreams and it wasn't even me. Like, it wasn't me who crushed their dreams. They crushed their dreams. Sick team. Uh, Shuckle and uh, Toxicking something is incredible in this game. I'm definitely worried about Snorlax. I feel like it just beats me 1v1 if it's rest. Yeah, Snorlax will just beat me if it's rest. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to try and uh, Toxic. Like, again, if this is rest curse, I, I cannot... <laughs> I love their name. Um, if this is... If this is Rest Curse, I can't do anything about it. At all. So there's a flag on lead. Uh, Toxic is absolutely free. If nothing that could really kill me in one hit anyway. And I won't Stealth Rock up, so that way I can mess them up. I don't need Sticky Web in this game. Because Sucker Punch is going to be killing most of these mons anyway. I do want a toxic though. I get a toxic. I, I get a toxic off on of that, which is great. I get to get up stealth rock now. As they go Dawn Fan, and we're gonna go for toxic on Dawn Fan too. Might as well go for sticky web if they want to try and spin. That's fine. I'll beat them one v one. I'm just really worried about the Snorlax, man. I really am because I can't kill it in one hit. You know who hasn't come out Honchkrow once? Uh, it is crazy because Honchkrow can actually do it in this game. I would rather them knock off into me. Good play. Just gonna mystical fire that way they can't kill me. Really nice play, but again, they can't kill me with the with the with the try. Oh, well, they definitely can't kill me with that. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make the shuffle play here, <laughs> just in case they go slow, bro. Like a toxic or a Snorlax. I'm gonna talk to them first, and then I'm going to go for. Oh, I'm going back out to you. Uh, but the play was to toxic them and then go for final gambit after because I'm at really healthy HP. Probably could have won for it there, to be honest. But okay, so at this point, I think I'm looking to win, especially with rocks up and that damage on that. I'm looking to win this game with Honchkrow. Like, uh, because it gets boosts all the time. 
Just gonna go for Dazzling Gleam here, because it knocks out Porygon. I wish I had Encore on Shuckle, but I do not. Again, if that is Rest, it is a problem. Flygon can come out and click Outrage if it wants to, I guess. That lets me spin. Though. Okay, I think the play is to go this and click Final Gambit here. That did nothing. <laughs> Alright, so now the play is to click Knock Off with this versus this mod. As they go slow, bro. Maybe I get rid of a Cobra Berry too. Oh my god, that did so much damage away. Hold up. What the hell is this Dawn fan doing a million damage for? Slow, bro. Jesus, that did so much damage. Uh, we're gonna go Cacturn because it's immune to Scald. And and I can get a KO now with, uh, with Assurance. Please bring out Snorlax. Please. Bring out Snor I mean, Salamence would be good too, but Snorlax is the mod I want. Yes! So this Assurance with 120 base power, baby! Ooh! It just got the kill! It just got the kill! It simply got the kill! That's so good! Uh, they're definitely gonna U-turn here. I'm just gonna bring out his Magus. If they Outrage, then I can bring out my Dolphin and click Ice Shard and pick up the KO. But yeah, okay, so now that Snorlax is gone and their other normal type is gone, Shadow Ball is absolutely free. Ice Shard does not knock me out from Dolphin either. And if they go Salamence, I'll just Dazzling Gleam because I don't have to care. But, I mean, that's amazing. Like, that, like I said, the, the biggest threat to me was that Lax. The biggest threat to me was that Lax. And I said Honchko was going to do something, but it's funny because when RTSK, because RTSK builds um, some of these teams for me, obviously the ones that I say shout out to RTSK for the team, obviously RTSK built the team that RTSK gave me. But uh, he tested teams, and he's like, yeah, Honchko just kept outperforming Cacturn. And I love that Honchko has not even picked an attack in this video. And my boy, young, uh, and my boy, young Togemon, my girl, excuse me, young Togemon, excuse me, my girl, young Togemon is just doing it, baby. That's so sick. You went out to the wrong mon, brother. Seed bomb. Again, if this is just standard future sight plus stuff, it can't touch Cacturn at all. If it has Ice Beam, it has Ice Beam. Bro, that don't even matter. I sure wins the game, so I just click Assurance here, pick up my KO. Even if they're Yachi Berry on Salamence, they, they have to, I would go, first of all, I would always go Honchko first, but I'm just going to Assurance here. Why not? No reason to Sucker Punch. I feel like I haven't been clicking Sucker Punch at all. I'm just going to Assurance here, and then just click Ice Shard and click Ice Shard. That should be game. The Fire Fang there, that's whatever. You just bring out the Goat. And, uh, yeah, Ice Shard twice wins the game. No way, plus one outrage even does 88%. And I think I'm pretty sure this scarf. But I'm pretty sure this dies as well, because this is extra belt, bro. Max attack, dude. Max attack. Oh, flag on. You're going to fall over, too. You're going to fall over as well. Yo, Cacturn guys have been doing it. That assurance, Cacturn. I'm glad I got to show off assurance. Like, I'm, I'm glad I got to show off the, uh, the viability. Now, I don't know if there were curse lacks. Maybe they were just rest talk. With crunch. Excuse me, I don't know. But this game could have easily went a different way if they were. Good game, man. I love the videos. I came back to the, the competitor yesterday. Of course, I matched with the GOAT. Hey, good game, fam. Appreciate you. <laughs> that man said the GOAT. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you, thank you. GG. Nice guy. All right. Overall. Overall. Cacturn was straight up fire. I think the highlight of the video has to be... Not only Lax dying to Assurance, but the Cresselia. I think Cresselia dying from 88%, right? And I mean, uh, it's a dark type attack, base 150 attack, yada yada. I'm Jolly first off. Okay, let's get that right. I'm Jolly. I'm not Adamant. Though I love Adamant Cacturn a lot. And Adamant Cacturn would have made a difference in some of these Cacturns as well. Woo! Like that Rose Raid. But, um, but not too much. But overall, I think that was definitely a highlight of it. I think this was a great showcase of Cacturn, so I'm very happy. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Also, I have a Wi-Fi battle going up later today. I know some of you haven't been too into the Wi-Fi battles, which is fine. Uh, it makes sense, but I, I enjoy them. It's kind of what, you know, I started my channel around back in Gen 4. And, you know, we've gone full circle right now, so I think that's super cool. But, uh, yeah, Cacturn is great. Also, like I said, how would you buff uh, which grass type? So I'm going to pick a different grass type besides Cacturn. Um, 
let me just look at this real quick because I want to answer my own question. Okay, so the Pokemon I pick, I actually just changed my thing. Let me put National Dex, uh, just so I can show you. But the Pokemon I pick was Blossom, and the way I would buff Blossom is that Blossom's already a good. <sighs> Blossom has a good move in its move pool. <laughs> I had to stop myself for a second, right? It has access to Quiver Dance. It also has access to Strength Saps. So some cool stuff, right? But when it comes to the Quiver Dance set, it's really underwhelming. All you really have is like Giga Drain, and then there's no Hidden Power. This is a National Deck, so it has Hidden Power, but there's no Hidden Power. Uh, so Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam, uh, and then you go like Moon Blast, and then usually Strength Sap. What I would do is, especially because the type Pokemon Blossom is, I would give it Fiery Dance in its move pool. Now, it already has Quiver Dance. Uh, it's a dancer. It's like, what is it, Hawaiian base, isn't it? Like, something like that? I mean, it's... A, I think it is. Uh, so, fiery dance makes sense, especially with that culture as well. There are people that dance with the, the fire in their hands, man. I don't know, but I, f I feel like it'd be a cool buff that isn't too out there, right? It's not too absolutely out there, and it just makes sense for the type of Pokemon that Blossom is. Let me know your thoughts, though, and what grass type would you guys buff down below. Let me know how, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.